Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the object oriented principles. The conceptual framework of object oriented system is based upon the object model. There are two categories of elements in an object oriented system the major elements as well as the minor elements. The major elements means by major, it is meant that if a model does not have any one of these elements, it ceases to be object oriented. The four major elements are abstraction, encapsulation, modularity and hierarchy. Second one is the minor elements. By minor, it meant that these elements are useful but not indispensable part of the object model. The three minor elements are typing, concurrency and persistence. So we are discussing each of these terms. First of all, we are going to discuss the term abstraction. Abstraction means to focus upon the essential features of an element or object in OOP, ignoring its extraneous or accidental properties. The essential features are relative to the context in which the object is being used. Grady Book defined the abstraction as follows. An abstraction denotes the essential characteristics of an object that distinguish it from all other kind of objects and thus provide crisply defined conceptual boundaries relative to the perspective of the viewer. For example, when a class student is designed, the attributes like enrollment number, name, course and address are included while the characteristic like pulse rate, size of the shoe, height, weight, etc. are eliminated since they are irrelevant in perspective of the educational institution. When it comes to the second term encapsulation, Encapsulation is the process of binding both attributes and methods together within a class. Through encapsulation, the internal data of the class can be hidden from outside. The class has methods that provide user interfaces by which the service provided by the class may be used. Third one is the modularity. Modularity is the process of decomposing a program or a problem into a set of modules so as to reduce the overall complexity of the problem. Book has defined the modularity as Modularity is a property of the system that has been decomposed into a set of cohesive and loosely coupled modules. Modularity is intrinsically linked with encapsulation. Modularity can be visualized as a way of mapping encapsulated abstractions into real, physical modules having high cohesion within the module and their intermodular interaction or coupling is low. When it comes to the term hierarchy, in Grady Book's words, hierarchy is the ranking or ordering of abstraction. Through hierarchy, a system can be made up of interrelated subsystems which can have their own subsystems and so on until the smallest level components are reached. It uses the principles of divide and conquer. Hierarchy allows code reusability. The two types of hierarchies in object-oriented analysis are is a hierarchy and part of hierarchy. In the is a hierarchy, it defines the hierarchical relationship in inheritance whereby from a superclass a number of subclasses may be derived which may again have subclasses and so on. For example, if we derive a class a rose from a class flower, we can say that rose is a flower. The second hierarchy is a part of hierarchy. It defines the hierarchical relationship in aggregation by which a class may be composed of other classes. For example, a flower is composed of sepals, petals, stamen and carpel. It can be said that a petal is a part of flower. 
So these are the two type of hierarchies available in object orientation. The next term to be discussed is typing. These are minor terms. According to the theories of abstract data type, a type is a characterization of a set of elements. In object oriented programming, a class is visualized as a type having properties distinct from any other types. Typing is the enforcement of the notation that an object is an instance of a single class or type. It also enforces that objects of different type may be generally interchanged and can be interchanged only in a very restricted manner if absolutely required to do so. The two type of typings are strong typing and weak typing. In strong typing, here the operation on an object is checked at the time of compilation like in the programming language Eiffel. In the weak typing, here the message may be sent to any class. The operation is checked only at the time of execution as in the programming language of small talk. So these are the two types of typing, strong typing as well as weak typing. When it comes to the term concurrency, concurrency in operating system allow performing multiple tasks or processes simultaneously. When a single process exists in a system, it is said that there is a single thread or control. However, most systems have multiple threads, some active, some waiting for CPU, some suspended, and some are terminated. Systems with a multiple CPU inherently permit concurrent threads of control, but system running upon a single CPU use appropriate algorithm to give equitable CPU time to the thread so as to enable concurrency. In an object-oriented environment, there are active and inactive objects. The active object have independent threads of control that can execute concurrently with the threads of other objects. The active objects synchronize with one another as well as with purely sequential objects. When it comes to the last term that is a persistence, an object occupies a memory space and exists a particular period of time. In traditional programming, the lifespan of an object was typically the lifespan of the execution of the program that created it. In files or database, the object's lifespan is longer than the duration of the process created that object. This property by which an object continues to exist even after it creates the cease to exist is known as persistence. So my dear students, in this lecture, we had discussed the object-oriented principles and the category of elements in an object-oriented system. So as we discussed, the category has major elements and minor elements. So dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So my dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. The question is, first one, write in detail about the major elements in object orientation. That is, write about abstraction, encapsulation, modularity and hierarchy. And second question is, write about the minor elements that is typing, concurrency and persistence. So dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the object oriented analysis. So dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye, thank you and all the best.